So we're here at the Montclair Panera Bread with Sherry. Hello. Who is a new mom on the journey? And Sherry, how many how many naturals do you have in the house? Three. Three. Three naturals. And just starting the journey with us. How's it going so far? The next now that you have some more tips on the journey. So far, so good. Girls are so they are asking more questions mm -hmm. on things that we've never even talked about. So about their hair? Yeah, because it's always the like, are young still, so it's always been just okay. Now we sit down with our hair. And mm -hmm. that, that was it. No questions, no anything. So now that we're talking about hair care, they they show a lot more. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I think that's your own audio on this, just in case, because I opened the background like there are a lot of people in the background, and then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who's on there? Kiana's on her way in next. She's also a mommy. Okay, so I'm going to run um, audio just in, so that it's a little bit closer. Let's see what's happening. Okay, so what Sherry just explained is that now that we've met and done the consulting and care and studio, that her daughter is asking more questions about their hair journey. And are they asking more questions about natural hair products too? Perhaps and what they should use. Oh, okay. What should they do? Okay, that's good. That's good. And the hair talk is already pretty easy for you. You were just coming in for. Um, Right. Recommendations on clothes and more natural, natural products. Okay, and then you're going to be implementing these things for yourself too. One day. <laughs> one day. No, one day. No, one day. One day. Some days. One day. Today. I have some more time for me, but it, it's getting there. Well, we're getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Things are definitely getting right. The more time for mommy, the more time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By virtue of you getting rid of all the unnatural products, you have no choice but to use the natural stuff that's in the house when you do give yourself a little bit. Yes. You're not taken care of. Yeah. 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 You yeah. can't yeah. yeah. do that. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it's like to have three. I know what it's like to have one. I don't know what it's like to have like many. I have many different So I've watched and experienced the care for more than one head. Right. And since I love doing hair, I was always the aunt that could help. So that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we're gonna look at Sherry's products. And this is not everything. These are most of her go-to. So sometimes clients are in shock in the product sweet as to what they're going to speak, keep, or tweak. We're going to start with this, and I don't always say names out loud. I'm just going to show you. This is what we're starting with. And a lot of products do say, therefore, natural hair. Why? Because when you see the word natural, if you're not used to reading product labels, you may not have that time, or you don't feel like you have the ingredients and knowledge, it's not something you grew up with, which is not um, maybe something that was a focus. You're just going to pick it up because it was marketed to you and it says natural on it. The word natural gets you to buy it, but it doesn't mean that it's always natural ingredients. Um, my eyes always go right to the last five ingredients to make sure that there's no DMDM hidden tone in the product. Now, although there's not, this is not a natural product in terms of 75% or more organic and natural. There are some natural ingredients in here. So this is a sweep. Sweep! So you're sweeping that one. It can be used as a body wash. Oh, wow. And if you do use it as a body wash, it becomes a tea. Because then you want to add some structured water to it, distilled water. Structures are going to help to top out or balance out the effects of the chemicals that are in there. Because there are chemicals in the product, and then there's some whole and some coconut. That doesn't make the product 100% or even that much more natural. So it's, it's really basic. There's so many great all-natural companies out there that have a mix of a shampoo or conditioner where I'm going to say keep it. Next we have for Truly Relaxed Hair. Two good ingredients, jojoba again, coconut oil. Combs, fragrance, chloride, alcohol, EDTA. Sweet. 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 Everybody likes that. 
kind of what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> but you're at the bottom of it. And now you have all your new recommendations of all these great natural products that I do recommend. So make those big buys and just uh, force some other companies to go more natural. It's their decision. Look at socially conscious and what's in it and what the industry is like. Um, I prefer we all be more healthy. And if that has to start with the products that we're actually also putting on our bodies, we sort of put in our bodies, it all goes together. So this one right here is a moisturizing curl activator cream, and I've seen this. <laughs> I've pretty much um, we've gone over this one before. This is a tweak. You can tweak this one, um, and you can continue to buy it, but you will need to tweak it. So tweaking means adding structure order. Dr. Brown structure order that I recommended. Distilled the spring. Distilled the spring. It's going to make it hydrating, but it is going to uh, lift up the quality of the water of the, water, of the actual product because when you see water on a product and it just says water and it doesn't say purified, distilled, deionized, artesian, is usually tap water, which would then equal the need to put in water softeners or other preservatives and ingredients because it's tap. And we know that that's the biggest global initiative and it affects our bodies and our hair. So this is great absorbent and right now because you're wearing like a blowout and a press, you don't need to use a cream like this in your wet hair and then for roll out as still to protect the style protecting. This is good for that and it's good for wet and moist styling. So this is not going on that side, it's going on this side as a keep. This is a keep, so I don't have to do <laughs> keep this right here. My concern here is the butyline glycol, the PEG8, the PPG5, the PEG50 shea butter. There's argan, kukui nut. Wait, I'm, I'm, I have to check that one on Webster. Make sure I've been pronouncing that one properly. Uh, wow. There's only about 20% left in here. So you've been using this a lot. You've been using this on the edges or in wet hair? Before the pool. Before the pool, focus on the leave-in conditioner. And then, everyone's not going to do this, but many naturals do. Triple the swim cap. And this was recommended by a client. This wasn't something that I made up. She actually did this in high school with a relaxer. Silicone, latex silicone. I've posted on it, shared it with many clients. Some have tried it. Those who are really, really serious serious about, not this time who's judging, but it's not serious. Just to say, those who are really serious about their hair care, if they're swimming a lot of professional swimmers, spending a lot of time in water, tripling the swim cap has been something that's actually easy because you can put your leave in it. But they said it's, it's comfortable. Unless you have like really big hair, um, about this much hair, weighted, flat twist, triple split cap, and they have the oversized ones, so that makes it easier. And we found that virtually no water has gotten into the hair. So when she told me about that, I referred other clients to try the same thing. And some have tried it, and they may just look too to hear them. But she specifically said silicone, latex, silicone, and she didn't have the chlorine damage, and she was a swimmer. I like the you know, um, that was her sport. I'm going to say to sweep this. Sweep! Grow strong strengthening treatment. <laughs> this is a this is a sweep. Until I got, um, it wasn't until I got to the sodium hydroxide, which is why, um, also known as the cream crack, <laughs> it's why, and it disappears in soap, like in soap making. And I always tell people about this. Okay, sodium hydroxide, why? 
is so flaky, the natural reaction between the fats and the oils, um, the why disappears. It's necessary for cold process or creating fresh fats with soap. It's no longer there. In products, it's still there. So it's smoothing the hair, and some of the most finest hair textures will experience breakage from sodium hydroxide being in a product. It should not be in your product. It should be in your toothpaste. It's in some toothpaste. I don't remember asking for a relaxer down my throat. So even if it's 5%, 2%, over time, or repeated use, I've had a lot of, especially moms with um, growing children's hair, experience breakage at the neckline, the nape, and the hairline, the finest areas from lye or sodium hydroxide being in a styling product. So this is a sweet no sodium hydroxide in your products. This is our keeper. Here we have a daily oil moisturizer. Um, this is getting swept automatically. Mineral oil, canola, which I don't recommend for our body or our hair. Petrolatum, aka petroleum, aka petrol in Europe, which is gasoline. I don't need to look at anything else. Sweet! So that would not, it'll give the appearance that it's growing hair, and then it won't. And then it the appearance, and then it won't, because there's chemical, a lot of chemicals in there. And this stuff is right after the water, it's where the mineral oil and the, and the petroleum starts. So you know that that's the base of the product. They just took a big old cheap batch and poured some other stuff in it. And yes, it's going to work in hair, but it's not good for your scalp, your skin, and your body. So we're sweeping that. Um, we have an edge control. I already recommend Curls Curl Control Paste as one option. African Formula Regular and Super Hold for edges. Uh, the Joy Gel, J-O-I-E, or uh, I think the French Wa Gel. Anyone who speaks French, you'll know that one. Um, African Formula and that company, I think, were once the same, and now they have two different products. But they're both very natural. Uh, for edges. This one, I don't want to open. Can I open it? Can I open it? No, it's on the bottom. PEG7 propylene glycol, also used in antifreeze, hydrogenated castor oil, paraben, and colors, and there's rosemary in here. Um, that's good. The sweet almond oil, that's good. The castor does provide the slick and the glycerin. However, the first ingredients being the water, the alcohol, the propylene glycol, and glycerin. This one's a really hard one. And that's also because at the end here we have all these colors. Yellow number 5 and red 33. Which I would prefer if you must seed or cranberry fruit extract. That's me. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just me. Um, this is a tweak. If you really want to keep it, tweak it and use it. It's 5 bucks. So a tweak is add a little bit of water to it. Or just go on to the ones that are all more natural. But you can tweak this one because with what's in there, and me looking at 75% or more organic and natural, you can tweak it. And that was that's one of the hardest tweaks. So that's a tweak. Tweak. Tea tree. Here's another one. And the back of this one tells you right away, no petrolatum or alcohol. Right, right, right. My eyes went right to that, so they remind you there's no, none of that in here. However, there's TB, TBQ, TBHQ, done deal. Polysorbate 80, not really necessary. Glycine uh, soy gel, they could just say soybean oil. I don't know what C1215 alcohol benzoate is, and what I have to say it in that way, that means it's really certain. And benzophenone 4. I just started doing some posts on benzophenone 3. Benzophenone 3, you need to detox from that. It is known to cause a lot of scalp and skin issues. It's caustic and it's actually 
banned in Sweden. So in like other countries that focus on more natural health and wellness that actually pay for their citizens' um, health care, they ban stuff that they know is going to make people sick because they're paying for their health care. So benzophenol 4 is not going to be any better than benzophenol 3. Don't use this one anymore. Any, every little bit counts. So if someone says to me, this could be a little drastic, but I'd like to point it out. The series part of it. So someone says to me, oh, hey, a tablespoon of rat poison is going to take you out in a month. But I'll give you one sixteenth of it over time. That's what the chemicals do in our bodies over time. So don't use them because if you can do as much natural as possible, you know, we're not going to prevent everything. And just, everything's not just going to like just go away like that. But it's the conscious decision to live as natural. And then you, you'll, you'll say, well, I know I, I did these things. You know, I've been taking as much good care of my body as possible. Your hair products, your foods that you eat, you know, go as natural as you can. But you know, things like this in studies have caused a lot of health issues. Sweet. So that's the sweet. Last but not least, and I have this up here because Sherry's got a coconut lemon cake. It's all natural and organic. It's a keep. It's easy. You use it alongside your natural conditioner. Yes, I make it consciously with uh, natural uh, products and ingredients. The only thing that would be different is if we're allergic to lemongrass or lemon, which is not a common allergy. Uh, and then we have five blends anyway. Then that's the only time you may not use something if you know you've been prick tested and you have an allergy problem. So this is a key. And Sherry, anything you want to say about anything today or anything that I said that made you new? Nothing new from what we already from what we already talked about. Yeah, okay. we already spoke about. So this is kind of what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Did you expect to keep? You have. You have two. I did not. I, and the, this is where. And this is my like go to. This is my go to. This is my plan right here for. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for ballet buns. <laughs> for the ballet buns. Yes, that is my, that whole, um, that's a whole show, you know, for here the entire show. So I'm glad that I get to keep it. Okay, but then you're going to still make sure then for you you have to do all um, um, decadence or indulgence or sizing, something that doesn't have coconut in it, right? And there's a sugar scrubbing for continuing to grow in edges. But I still suggest that you try one of the other natural gels to see if that can get you pulled through a dance show because this is still, right? That was right. still a we challenge. Have to, right, we have to, to, to find alternatives. I have the other alternatives you can yeah. that we mm -hmm. can try. And this is because you have a dance, uh, sharing the dance and cheer month, yes. right? Am I saying yes. cheer? I like the cheer. I, I mix sometimes cheering and that. Yeah, right. So dance and cheer. So we have um, your daughters and you need to style their hair into buns. We talked about also braiding circles right. to, to keep some of the hair out. That was amazing. Yeah, you tried it already? <laughs> Not yet. I, but just the thought of it, it's going to take so much of that hair yes. away. So what we're talking about is making, um, if you have to do ballerina buns and dance buns, is braiding a circle in the middle at the top. And this is for the soccer kids too. Soccer kids. Soccer buns and ponytails, soccer does a lot too, and feel lucky. Uh, braid a circle in the middle, or either a circle going outward or inward, two or three braids north, uh, north, south, or north, or east, or west. And that way it reduces the amount of hair that you have to pull into the bun and it grows the middle. So we do that. And I grew up doing this. To do I used to wear high ponytails all the time. So I would section that area because I knew if I kept putting the bun in the same place, I could get breakage there. And I had a less mom's way in order to throw the hair from that bun. And then it was all matted here at the top. And, you, and also you don't want to do this. The whole thing where you have to go like this and you go to the top of your head. It's a lot of arm work. Yeah. No one wants to do that. But now we this it's easier. I can't wait to get a chance to try that. <laughs> you like that idea? Yes, it's lovely. I love when someone learns about that when I'm like, yes, put a circle in the middle. So oh, yeah. Get it all in there. So that's it for our, our product suite. And thank you for watching, and we'll be back. Thank you.